Okay, since since in in my face Facebook fan page there you got few students cannot solve this question, so I decide to record a video to teach you how to solve this question. Actually, this question is not as hard as you think. Okay, even the equation will seems a little bit complicated. Okay, first, let's have a look on the question. Solve the equation three sine x over two minus one will equal to one. Okay, and then for for x will be between zero and four pi, four pi radians. Okay, so first thing you have to know what is the relationship between pi and degree. Actually, one pi will equal to one hundred and eighty degree. Okay, so most of the time in your MX exam, he only will ask you draw until two pi. Which is three hundred and sixty degree. Most of the time, we see the pi in trigonometric is related to the graph, something like sine graph. So maybe this is sine graph. So this one is one pi. So this one is two pi. Okay, and then this is like y equal to sine. This is y. The whole graph is y equal to sine x. Ah, okay. But then now this question is not really related to the. To the graph, okay. First, you understand one pi is hundred eighty. Therefore, two pi is three hundred sixty. And then he said x must be zero to four pi. Therefore, four pi is four multiple hundred eighty. Then we have got seventy seven hundred and twenty. So he want the value for x is from if is in the degree will be zero degree until seven hundred twenty degree. This is the values of of x. Okay, the question one, or you can actually change this one to radian. You change change this one to radian is very simple. You just press your calculator four multiple pi. Okay, four multiple pi, you will got twelve point five six six radian. Okay, just press four multiple pi, and if you do not show you you do you do not know where is the pi pi is just. This button, okay. This button, you press shift, and then you press this x a x p. Then you will got the pi. Just four multiple pi, you will got this value, one uh one two point five six six. Okay, then we can start to solve the equation. So first, I I I write down one more time. So he said three sine x over two minus one equal to one. Okay, this one you assume is like. Sine A, so you don't touch this one first. You touch other uh, everything other than this. Okay, you assume this is one thing. So sine is one thing. Okay, maybe like sine thirty. So this is thirty. So you don't touch this one first. So you move the three to the other side. So therefore, sine x over two minus one will equal to one over three. Okay. After this, what you need to do, you move the sine to this side. So when you move the sine to this side, what what will happen? You will got x divided by two minus one will equal to shift sine one over three. So therefore, shift sine one over three. You just press the calculator. Okay, shift sine put the bracket one over three. Close the bracket. So you got the degree is nineteen point four seven. Okay, okay. When we talk about sines, if you know about the fourth quadrant here, the first quadrant sines will get positive. The first quadrant all will get positive. Second quadrant sine will get positive. Third quadrant tangent will get positive, and then last quadrant cos will get positive. Why we call this one first quadrant? Because this is zero to ninety. This is ninety to hundred eighty. This is hundred eighty to two hundred seventy. Two hundred seventy to three hundred sixty. And actually, this is like one cycle. You can turn one more round, then you you reach until seven hundred twenty. But then, because he say the x value must be between zero to two hundred twenty, so we know later here we actually we need to plus one and multiple two. We need to plus one and multiple two. So in order to plus one and multiple two, so. I think it is necessary change our 
value here to radian okay but then we change it later okay so size will get positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant so this is what we call second quadrant q2 okay because second quadrant sign will get positive so in second quadrant the angle will be 180 minus angle minus 19.49 uh, 47 so you just press the calculator you got two angle 180 minus 19.47 so this is 19.47 another angle is 160.53 160.53 angle okay so I just changed this one to radian how to change degree to radian you want to change degree to radian you have to multiple pi divide by 180 remember this formula when you want to change degree to radian you have to multiple pi divide by 180 so I just press 19.47 multiple pi divided by 180 so the first one we are got 0 0.3398 okay the second one I just put 160.53 multiple pi divided by 180 yes this one I will get 2.8018 Okay, so after I get these two values, then it will be very easy for me to solve. Okay, therefore, okay, when x divided by 2 minus 1 will equal to 0 0.3398 and 2.8018. So x will equal to this value plus 1 and then multiple 2. Just solve the equation. So I just use 0 0.3398 plus 1 okay and then multiple 2 the first value will be 2.6796 so the second value I do the same 2.8018 okay and then plus 1 yeah and then multiple 3 so I will got this one I will got 11.4054 okay I double check the first one 0 0.3398 plus 1 and then multiple 2 yeah correct so therefore you see you got two value because in radian here in picture mentioned the x value must be between 0 to 12.566 so I think 11.4054 is is between between the range here this one also between the range here so these two is the correct answer okay so if you want to know what is the value for what is the degree for this radian so same thing if this is radian you want to change to degree this one flip over multiple 180 divide by pi Radian, you want change to degree, multiple 180 divided by pi. So I show this one. So I got 11.4054. So I want to change to degree, I multiple 180. And then I divide by pi. This one will be 653.48 degree. See? If in degree this one is 0 to 720, 600 something is still within the range. So these two is the correct answer. Okay, so actually this one is very simple. You just solve the equation here. So when you solve the equation, you don't touch everything inside here first. You solve everything outside the sign. So which is 3. You move the 3 to this side, it's 1 over 3. So you move the sign to this side, will be shift sign, 1 over 3. Then you press the calculator, you will got the angle. But when you got the angle, you have to think sine get positive is not only one quadrant. Because in first quadrant and second quadrant, sine will get positive. It's for example, this one, you got negative 1 over 3. If sine got negative, it is also not only one, one, one answer. Because in third and fourth quadrant, sine will get negative as well. Yeah, so you must always be careful about the value you you got. Normally, it's from 0 to 360, you, you will got 2 to 4 answer. 
because when you got positive value will means that you will have two answer because any side cost tangent will have two answer in all all the quadrant here okay so you must very familiar with this quadrant thing in order to solve this kind of question so i really help i really hope this video can help you a lot okay thanks for watching